Yeah. 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 They did a good job. Defensive line did. Um, uh, Oa, I felt like he was consistently getting to the quarterback. Um, our interior guys, Kenny Clark, Katie Vanderdoss, the, the entire group that rolls through there was doing a good job. But um, Dion, of course, and then it was awesome to see Taft, you know, to to finally give him an opportunity to get some more reps and, and uh, show everybody what we what we've been so excited about. Does this force an offense to adjust, especially when you get two sacks early on? I hope so. You know, I'd hope, I'd hope so. But, uh, yeah, you'd have to ask their offense about that. Um, yeah, but it was, especially the fact, you know, when we brought th three, you know, which is typically when you don't get much pressure, um, we were able to get home and affect the quarterback a lot of times. So uh, that was encouraging. Does it feel like at times you guys were just missing, like, that one pass rusher they needed that speed, kind of like Tech? Yeah, I mean, you, it never hurts when you get a guy like that. You know, he's he is a unique, special kid um, on and off the field. You know, he is a kid that is just um, that's so humble. You know, he's been through so much in his life. You know, hopefully, uh, the more success he has, the more people understand where he comes from and what he's been through and what he's overcome. Um, because he's an amazing human being. And, uh, is it, it's just exciting to get a guy. To, to join the What went into the decision to move Ola inside? What's that? What went into the decision to move Ola inside? We're just trying to get our bet, our four best pass rushers on the field, you know? Putting Ola inside makes gives you an opportunity to give Dion and, and Tack the outside rushers. Um, at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to find the best 11 for each uh, particular situation in the game. Imagine using some of them more going forward? Yeah, depending on the situation, for sure. Yeah, and I think Tack is. He's starting to prove that he can play the run just as well as play the pass, you know. So the more he does that, uh, the more we can keep him in there every down. Was it like knowing what Mark's gone through and seeing him be the guy? Who it's was, awesome. Like punching in the I mean, I, a year ago, this kid was battling for his life. You know, that's no exaggeration. Was battling for his life. I remember when, when he had just got out of the hospital and he was, you know, 135, 140 pounds, you know, and, and to think how far he's come and what he's had to overcome, and then for him to have an opportunity to, uh, to seal this win for us defensively it was did you very think, cool. Did you think they were going to test him there in the last, uh, the last touch? Because he did. Marcus thought that they were going to come, come at him. So how about you? Yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, I mean, we're always ready for that. You know, we like their safeties a little bit and um, try to provide them a little bit more help. Uh, but at the same time, it was it was one of these these situations where, you know, they needed a field goal to win. So. Um, you know, I wasn't certain that they were going to attack outside. You know, I thought they might have gone with something more short, intermediate route. You know, try to get into field goal range, but uh, but they took a shot. And he made a he made a fantastic play. When they have a guy down like they did for extended periods, during the period, make sure you ready to go. Not not much at all. To tell you the truth, I mean, we obviously keep them mentally into the game and. and um, Give them a great understanding of the situation that we're in, but at the same time, uh, given the respect that the that, that the young man deserves, um, you never want to see that shoot. You never celebrate that. And uh, it's a violent game, and unfortunately, um, injuries like that happen sometimes. You know, and I just I wish him the best. I wish his family the best. I really do. Was it tough for the defense to be put in situations where just that short field? Obviously, you don't want to blame the offense, mm -hmm. but it, was, it seemed like an unfortunate. You know, circumstances. We, we Twenty have, yards every time. Honestly, we have to we have to like relish those opportunities. You know, get put in those situations. And um, a great defense is thrive under those situations. So we got to improve. You know, we got to improve from that standpoint. And uh, you know, when adversity strikes, we have to strike back. We really do. point that some of those PIs look a little fresh. Now that you've had the game's over, honestly, I, I, I'd have to watch the film. I. I uh, Honestly, it's a little frustrating from that standpoint, but uh, you know, I, I don't know exactly what they see, or what they don't see. Um, but uh, we just keep, I mean, we can't control the, the officials, we can't control the calls, so we just keep working technique and keep getting better. But the past couple of weeks this defense has had, what does it mean to you to win the way you guys did today? Right, um, it's good, you know. I, at the end of the day, you know, it's not about me, it's not about, you know, uh, it's really about these kids, and I just wanted for them a little success, you know, and, and an opportunity to, to 
to put on full display the, the hard work and all that they've invested, you know, and it's and it's cool that they finally get a little little payoff here. Thanks, Brady.